and it adds a little bit of change of pace. So, warning, this game contains disturbing images and scenes of explicit violence, gore, animal cruelty, body, or mental illness, get it, all this stuff. Just the sound bummer. It's gonna exit out of it for a second. Oh, wait. Okay. New game. Auto save. Sweet. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. Oh, look at the cat. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels bad. <clears throat> A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. Bright light shines from my parents' room. I go close. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Hope everyone's having a good day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How'd you hurt them? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I guess we'll go with fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. I'm just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I want to go home. I'd want to know who did it. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat and the killer. Nobody's doing anything. Yeah, we gotta find Mr. Midnight. I'll find the killer and my cat. 
your cat is missing, it would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find to a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace, well, there's that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. I'm so tired of all of this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. Oh, thanks for the raid. <laughs> yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Get that shit away from me. Anything new today, Dr. Deer Dearn? <laughs> Nothing, actually. Some visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't feel good. Okay. Um, yeah. Hi! A wolf! <laughs> Hope you're having a, a great day today. Oh no! Tur- oh, Can't read already. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Take her back to her room. Now. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Sorry, adjusting. Try not to blow everyone's ears drums. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. <laughs> oh, thanks. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. So how was your stream today? Time to wake up. I'm still here. Horrible place. I have to get out of here. Okay, thanks for stopping in, game. Let's check this out. I will get your no nose. I'll get it. Locked. Good reason to be curious. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, oh holy moly, something fell off. <laughs> 
A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I look can look outside. Tower defense. We have a crazy person for you called Fran. <laughs> or is it defense tower? Um. Well, I couldn't finish reading. <laughs> A little weird, not like how is it weird? What happened? Where's the tower defense? Um, I guess that is my way out. We got a case number Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10, female. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. This was documented July 25th, 1944. Psycho what? I'm not, no, not that for sure. Side effects, effects affecting one side of me maybe? I don't want to. I just woke up. <laughs> Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Okay, nothing. But scary nightmares. No thanks. Let's go look at these papers. Mm. I'm sorry it wasn't normal. How many people did, tuned in today? Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Hmm. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Okay, I wasn't sure if I clicked the different ones, if it would say something about each picture. I can still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Hmm. Secret box. Shh. <laughs> A key. This will certainly open something. A bed. <laughs> Great observation, friend. Hello, Phil. Uh, hello. Uh, how are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Mm, uh, I will, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh. oh. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you! Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. I am just rereading that. Okay. Fillmore Bronstone, eight years old. Uh, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Do Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust 
and he refuses to be questioned. April 6th, 1944. Oh, poor Phil. I understand why you wouldn't trust them. Let's just repeat. Ooh, a little bear. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Ooh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? Back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> the trip of our lives. Yeehaw! <laughs> If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So, what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. <laughs> of course, it's locked. Okay. I get to see Phil. My legs are just fine. Ugh. I'm not disabled. Let's check this window. Oh, lovely. Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that a playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. Let's see. Oh, we got like a little bunny rocking thing. Got a couple of seesaws. Ah, uh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Um, I like the bunny swingy swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Ooh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse won't ever let me touch anything. I know that nurse always keeps the medicine, but where? I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still in this room. Oh, Fran, you're awake, good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe? So many days. Oh no, so many days, I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave. I'm working. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally? Pfft. I have to fix this. Follow me. She would go crazy if I touch anything. Ugh, fine, we'll follow you. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go find something to fix this. You little <sighs> girl. Later. Let's see. Ooh, I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. Ew. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decision, decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia, drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to do it justice. So it doesn't all just sound like monotone. Ooh, it's this little paper. Room four. 
nursing visit report nurse name Gladys uh, you got some chicken scratch cursive patient name Frambo Dagenhart the patient has been sleeping almost all the time she only wakes up to drink water but I don't think she remembers that after drinking she goes she goes to sleep again she hasn't been sound for three days now some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play so oh hey one two three eight h the nurse's handwriting is awful <laughs> that's what i'm saying i only understand three words fran sleeping and duotine So if this is the type of code, it's just those numbers. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I see. Oh, this I don't. I don't need that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I make this nine. A, B, C, D. I make. <laughs> the pills. Kitty told me they would help me. Huh. Shall we see? No. Watch your step. Oh, you look so friendly. Get out, creepy creature. What are you? Huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also has blood in her mouth. She looks sad. Oh no. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Hello? Huh? Let's see what outside looks like. Oh, yep, still nothing to see. How about this window. Ooh, got a handprint. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Lovely. Our head. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. <laughs> Who did it? Excellent question. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny. Just wake up. Ooh. It's happiness. You can see. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Hello? Oh no! Your head! I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Hello? Uh... Back to the, your head's gone. Ooh. Down the secret stairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. And now there's a fox on her bed. The doctor has no soul. 
I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? It's like she's just so innocent. She doesn't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Can we use this? Ah, the shape isn't bright. Hmm. Hook. I wonder. Yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. My dear family, I will guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Got a hair clip? My hair clip! I should make good use of this. Can I use it to pick a lock? <laughs> it fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Mm. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. Pop pill. Mm, that didn't change. Still just towels. Sometimes things just don't work. Hmm. There's a family photo, some band-aids, hair clip, and this. And there's two keyholes. Is there something I miss? That's just the gun. the curtains. <laughs> Can I give you these? <laughs> that didn't work. I feel like I'm supposed to <sighs> like I need two There's two holes, so she needs something else. Is 
feel like there's something like gotta be missing somewhere I feel very stupid that I haven't found it I feel like this is probably gonna end up being for a kid but Blood. Find him. Ugh! Somebody's been playing with my notes. Hmm. That drawer's still empty. Oh! There we go. Picking locks at the age of ten. Yes to happiness. Oh, hello. <laughs> what was that? Pop pills. Maybe I'll get better. <laughs> Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. You're my beloved friend. Bip bip bop. If you want to hug me, try and catch me. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. Oof. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Even the purest of things die in this place. Still says you can see. This was for Adelaida Huguenitz. Oh, I probably butchered that name. <laughs> Age seven. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She is making progress. March 17th, 1944. Poor thing. Where did the clown go? Tiny, tiny hands all over you. Eating your soul. That is a creepy statement. Why do you look like a rat doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Back to normal for a minute. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many, all, and they all look so sad. This one is very happy, though. Good for him. The bed is very pink. Let's see. Anything different? Oh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Oh, let me see. A red puppet, and a serpent, a teddy bear, and many other things. And your booty will be flat like your face. What? Fran. Hello. You see them. You do. Right? Wait, what are you saying? Wait, what about? <laughs> uh, see what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh -huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw. I love to draw. Yes, I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. A crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. 
I could join my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know it. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. Crayon, I draw, I draw with a crayon. That's mine. My crayons. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No. I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true. But you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I draw, I hurt my. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. Poor thing. Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. And we got some band aids. Oh, she's happy. Oh. Thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Success. My favorite green crayon. Okay, we got those. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. Take a pill. Maybe it'll look different. The king likes drawings. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't like this. Wait, what? Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the fun blah, blah, blah. What? This wasn't here before. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. Um, but you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know because I locked it. Um, how did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Oh, hello. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, friend. Let's go, you know, if we sound kind of sane, maybe he'll go easier on us. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. I'm not making up excuses, sir. You haven't learned. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now. Then back to bed. So what were you asking as far as, wait, what? Was it like to one of the... Something in the game? Sorry, I got very, very engrossed into the reading. This is a very read-forward game, so you'll probably be... Noticing I have to take a lot of sips of water because a lot of talking. You left the door open. Maybe that was me. Who knows? I'm gonna go eat. See what it looks like like this. Oh, lovely. A bleeding clock. Looks like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks a bit depressing. Hello up there, miss. 
Your dress is very pretty. My mother had a very pretty dress too. Oh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm. I can't understand what it's saying. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. The yellow door. That's my way out. That sign shows where things are in the hospital. I have to open it. But how? Phil said that the doctor's office is the key. But what? It doesn't show is how awful this place is. It should say, Welcome to the most terrible place in the world. <laughs> the reception room. You can always find a nurse in there. I could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate. But then again... They'd really think I'm insane. <laughs> Let's see. Child psychi Psychiatry Chief. Doris Aldean. Annie Schultz. Demian Galsman. Fillmore Bronstone. Charles Hick. Fran Bow. Jason Coe. Elizabeth Moore. Phil was here today. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, if I can give you the key if you give me a kiss. Ugh. What a bastard. You can kiss your butt. I told you. A kiss for the key. What do you say, eh? This is disgusting. An arm extension would be nice. Extension. Hello. If I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. This table isn't, in isn't interesting at all. I don't even want to be near this guard. Oh, no. He just says the same thing. Ooh. Reach the key. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly. No flying, Mr. Pig. Here for me to see. No flying, Mr. Pig. Here for me to see. Ew! A crunchy pig's head. Ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. Wonder what part of the body that is. Do -do -do. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello from me when you get there. What's it look like normal? Oh. Hello, are you all right? What is that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find your new thoughts. Find new thoughts. Bye! Oh, we can just repeat this? Nothing. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness is blowing through this fence. 
I wonder what they really do down there. Maybe I don't want to know. Let's check this door. Isabel! She won't wake up. I guess that means she's heavily sedated. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He's the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms, you could break through every wall. Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. You look like you've been training at the circus. And your tummy is filled with love. Clowns on the wall in the house of madness. You're way bigger inside that frame than down here, sir. Or better. It must be beautiful to make people laugh. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Did you say something? Oh, creepy. Let's check out this stuff. The action men. Could either of you help me find Kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war. And the cowboy ate the princess? The action men... Oh, we're back to that. <laughs> Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. I wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown. Because I can't swim. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper isn't working. What do you mean? The paper should be working. They, like they told me. Oh, well, but what does the paper have to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see. But why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Hmm... <laughs> Human testing approved. Great. Ooh, a documentary. Maybe I guess it's about pine cones and ants. No signal. No signal. The super hyper happy cupcake dance. Cupcake dance, cupcake dance. News? Human testing approved? That's not news, Mr. Announcer. Hmm, you want this one? Still not working. Paper, or er, paper vision negative. Change again. Let me guess this one. It works! It works! It's a miracle! Thank you! Paper vision positive. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the paper that didn't work. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy. Paper vision, revision, and action. Get out. Danger. Paper vision, revision, and action. Ooh, this pink sash is mine now. Ooh, could we come in with this? Oh, yes! Now I can use the rope to tie a hook with something. Hanging on. Huh. Well, I don't think it would fit me anyways. Oh, lovely. Hide your pain. Look at me, I say. You're beautiful while I... Give you. I didn't get to finish that. I love you while I'm teaching you to hate yourself. Look at me. I say, I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. While I give you poison to eat. Okay. Oh no! They did it all wrong! They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here! Please take me out of here! Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. 
It says you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it might happen, and even if you don't like it. Have you seen my kitty? Okay, that part's the second. Huh? I think I see something. Or not. Yeah. Lovely. What have we here? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu of the day. Mmm, pasta. Ooh. Mmm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. A little lemonade. I'm not that thirsty. I miss Mr. Midnight. That's the only thing I know. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. The salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess this carton is all sour. Like always. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? <laughs> I see dead animals, miss. You mean in the television? Of course, the television. Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. Fran, what is it now? Can I borrow your magazine? No. <laughs> Fine. The sofa, made to be sat on. I can't sit. The sofa is taken. This smells like poop. Mommy loved to paint roses. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. I guess Mr. Oswald is very old. Old enough to be dead. The signal is weird. It must be because we're so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they're saying. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. Oh dear, what should I do to find my kitty? Are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you please kill me? Please. I, I, I don't know. Sure. Bang. You're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. No, that was a lovely conversation. Oh no! The nurse lady died! I wonder who did this. It wasn't me! She smells real bad. It feels like the smell is all over me. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy. Everyone is ashamed of you. Hello. That's still the same, but that one. Oh, I'm weird on that one. They're all dead. Or, no, they are dead. Man, I ruined that one. I wish you could take me out of here. Can you? Fly away! What are you waiting for? Birdie bird, I like you. The, the holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all those roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you. 
Please, tell me if you can hear me. Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. Please tell me if you can hear me. It's alive! If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. This door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should know. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is what is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Uh, yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then I will grant you my sword. Annie loves to drink milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. Hey, Annie. How are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No? Why would I be? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you? But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Whoa! Yes, the magical stuff that'll make you fall, anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing! Powerful and grand. Here, it, it's a gift. Take it. Slowly. Oh. <laughs> Alright, how does it work? I have no idea. Well, bye now. Okay, nothing changed in here. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. Let's see. Oh, I didn't grab the papers. Shoot. Where is she going? Just wondering if I follow her, it's like something else happened. door. I like this one. Okay, she's just on a loop. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, but where's the kids' room? Is it this one? Hmm, nope. Gotta be this one? I think. The one with the television. I forgot to grab the papers. Nope, that's the loo. How'd you? Okay. And combine. Here we go. Oh, I'll draw something special for the king. 
There we go. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, this is a magical cake now. Sleepy, sleepy cake. There we go. Now we can give the picture to the king. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamed of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Greetings, hero. Ah, same thing. Okay. Let's see. Can we give the cake a, to that guard? Make him pass out for a bit? Um, it won't work. I told you, kiss for a key. What do you say, eh? Let's see. Hmm. Fran, what is it now? Nothing. Fran, I told you to go mind your own business. I'm very busy. Everyone's so nice. So what can I do to get that guard away? I don't want these. I'm not hungry. I guess if Damien eats the pasta, it can't be that bad.
<clears throat> you bastard! I will get it back! Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Uh, this? I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It'll make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. But why not? Take it. No, no, leave me alone. I told you. Uh, that's the same disgusting comment. Mm. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure. Anything but bring coffee to the guard. Why not? I couldn't do it because I, ha I had to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Fran, what is it now? Nothing. So that part's the same. What about the coffee? Oh, here we go. Oh, goodness. Sorry, lovely fingers. This coffee is hot. Negative. Hmm. Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> That's what you get, asshole. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. Ugh, it burns like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. The look on Bran's face. Just evil, but so happy with herself. Come back to your great creator. Don't know why I didn't do it the first time. There we go. I got you. Now I can unlock the office. If I can call him... Oh, no, I thought we could read uh, papers. The doctor's office. The code must be in there. I wonder what people do at these, those gatherings. Mental Health Global Week. We've got testing day. Every day is testing day. October and November. I guess we're in October now? What a tiny text. Thoughts of Marcel Dearn. Hmm. You're not alone. Join us today. Oswald Asylum. Oh, the code! And some important information, finally! Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. Scribble, scribble. December 17th equals... Well, this looks like a nine. And July 25th looks almost... And it's hard to see that one. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? An interview with Dr. Dearn about working with children. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. I don't really know what this is. Cool air comes out of it, like the wind. I guess there's a hole behind it, a wind hole. I hate this bed. I'm not lying down here. I've cried so many times here. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, get me out of here, please! No pictures or funny riddles. Mr. Midnight could tell me a riddle. He loves them. This book is not interesting. Um, the doctor ate an apple. 
I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair does a good job too. The brain is so complicated. I don't even understand all of my thoughts. I guess nobody does completely. The brain... Visions, taste, and hearing. I learned some of those at school. I don't remember at all. The books are all the same. I wonder whose head that is. It's always good to carry an extra key. The doctor used to sit here and do nothing. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I, I see weird stuff. But I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and do all the things a living person does. Oh, I love to open mail, but this isn't for me. Bill? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Asshole. Uh, Phil, please let me out. I shouldn't scream. If they find me in here, I'm in big trouble. Where did I put the key? Uh, Phil, please let me out. Uh, we got this key. This key doesn't work here. Uh, we got a crayon. Uh, that don't help it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, that rat really hit his head. It hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Oh. oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. A mop that dances on the floor. Fantasia reference. Mr. Midnight hates mops. He always tries to kill them with his furry, furious paws. Mr. Midnight hates... Yep. Yep, okay, so that's all the same with those. Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need any of these. No water to wash my hands. Ah, no, now I can't go back. But anyways, if I go back, I know what I'll find. I shouldn't be afraid of always moving forward. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. I'd fly with my kitty while the night is filled with shining stars. And we would visit curious places because we both like curious things. There's nothing under the blanket. Old and rusty. I guess I have a place to sleep if I can't find the can't find the way out. The box is open. Let me see. The gloves tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Scrape label. Hmm. That bottle is empty. I guess they'll put some pills in it, put some pills in it. Huh. Bad pills. I'll take them to find my kitty. I think I'll quit when I find Mr. Midnight. 
Or maybe just until I take them all. Yellow pills? Huh? They look like more fun uh, more fun than the red ones. I wonder why I get the red pills instead of yellow. Maybe they just ran out of that color. What's it look like in this vision? Lies in the box. You really lose your heads in this place. <laughs> Pun. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. It's locked. Uh, is this what our keys for? Oh. Rude. If you struggle, you'll know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Uh-oh. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Oh. You can't blame those who are ignorant. But you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you, even though pain and tears, even through pain and tears, my path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. My pet. That's so sad. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. I don't want to play with my head in there. Oh. Who is that, sir? Wake up! Patient, Robert Clark. Psychosurgery procedure, lobotomy. Dr. Roman Bates. Observation, failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Oh, I could not imagine waking up during... Woof. A brain surgery? No, 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 no. Oh. Well, so I did go all the way around. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I hope I never end up like that. I wouldn't if I leave this place sick and find Mr. Midnight. It word. It says it word. I don't know what that means. Hello? Are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. Oh. Oh. Boy, why do you have your brain out? Is it too warm in there? Mm, he won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. That is an awful thing to say. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Rambo? No, I haven't seen her. 
What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? He used to keep the key there. Calm down. The key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns out. But you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already. This is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. What should I do? The key holder has no keys to hold. Oh. Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. Are you a nurse too? Why are you hanging up there? Oh, that's the same thing that happened at the end of the maze. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Ooh, a love letter. Dr. Pete. Ugh, gross. That's exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I find my kitty. Oh, that's a love letter. The only, if only the key holder could talk. And there you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. Hmm, I don't want to be here anymore. Wasting time on the sofa, thinking. While my poor little cat is freezing outside. Let's go right over here. Does that work? Oh, the key is here after all. I better take it back. Old coffee. No crackers. I want to go home. Many folders and books. They must have a record of every kid. They sure say that everyone is insane. Please enter four digit passcode. Okay, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Examine. December and July. Where do we take We're not take but go back to the um Oh no we can't get back. Open the door. It's locked. Hmm. I have to shut down the alarm, that's for sure.
Hmm. Just trying to think, what would it be? December 17th, July 25. There we go. Seventeen, maybe. Twenty-nine. Okay. Thanks for stopping in. So we know it's twenty-nine. And seven plus twenty five thirty two. Run, 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 run. <clears throat> you little. Bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. Okay. You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No. I need to get to the maze. Oh, the tower. Hmm. I've never seen this fence before. Oh, uh, cool. Have fun with your show. Oh, not dead after all. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, there I go around this way. Let's see. Da, 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 da.
Wait to see if that creature were how far it goes. Oh, he goes farther than I thought. There we go, maybe? Nope. Huh. <laughs> oh, thanks. And yeah, no problem. Sorry I couldn't stick for the whole thing. I had to go and do my daily job. And yeah, this is not bad so far. Definitely are keeping up voices. <laughs> Woo, we did it! Found my way out. Beat the maze minigame. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Forgot to mute. The evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But they were there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Oh no, our family photo. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. 